three in the morning, can't sleep. Check Twitter, saw the news that Sony had up their ownership share in From Software along with Tencent. Uh, at a lay level, it sounds like Sony and From Software, who still has the majority ownership, can outvote Tencent, Tencent and Sony can outvote from, I think, but certainly from and Tencent can outvote Sony. So it's it's a very strange little dynamic. Uh, they said they're doing it because they want more capital to expand, you know, to make more games and expand the franchises they have. Uh, I believe they own the intellectual property to Elden Ring. I don't think that's Bandai's. I could be wrong because I think it was published by multiple publishers, depending on the territories. Um, so, and I know they have big plans for Elden Ring. So, I, I th there's two things I I, I just want to come to mind that I'm curious about. The first one is um, Bloodborne Two, right? Uh, you know, does this increase the likelihood of that being made? And even if it does, should it? Right? I loved Bloodborne. Elden Ring is probably my favorite game of all time, or very close. Uh, but Bloodborne has stuff in it I think that's better than Elden Ring. I adored Bloodborne. Um, but I wonder, was it just not quite the time for it to break? And now that Elden Ring busted through a Bloodborne, I mean, a Bloodborne will still double the sales. I think the sales are like 3 million, 4 million. Uh, it'll it'll still double, triple the sales. It'll be a huge hit for Sony. Uh but was it not the hit Elden Ring was because the thematic, it was too linear, uh, it was too hard, whereas the open world gave players an opportunity to go do other stuff if they got stuck. Um, it's hard to know if Bloodborne is ever going to be able to reach the, the stratospheric heights of Elden Ring. And if you're, t if, if, if you're from software at this point and you're Tencent at this point, I I don't know why you would want to greenlight that title, right? Um, unless that was sort of part of the deal. But I mean, I, I know why Sony would want it, of course, and I know why fans would want it. I would want it, but uh, you know, unless they go open world with it, which I know that's not Bloodborne. I'm just saying, um, but I'm curious about that, and I'm curious about why this was done like why did sony say hey we're in a position right now where we need to do this they're they they do not have ownership they didn't acquire them outright um it's not even a 50 50 partnership in terms of decisions they still got to deal with tencent um the only thing i can think of is they did it because they don't want to see elden ring 2 or now that from software has really gone massively mainstream and will probably have the number one if not the number two best-selling game of the year they don't want to get shut out and they're like you know what let's we already own a percentage a x percentage i don't know what they had before let let's kick it up i think now they're at like 14 or 15 percent um and let's at least make sure that elden ring is always on playstation because we don't want to deal with this fucking call of duty shit we're dealing with with activision at this point so those are the two things i'm curious about like what was their initial motivation not from from software's made it clear why they were up for this increase in ownership on the part of Sony and Tencent, but why did Sony want to do it? And does this bode well for Bloodborne or it's really more about keeping uh, Elden Ring and Future From games on Sony along with other platforms? So I don't know. I'm just hearing the news right now. A lot to think about. Uh, it may not result in a noticeable difference, but it might, but it's interesting for sure. And then on top of it, we saw Quantum Dream just got purchased uh, by NetEase, which is a Chinese company. So, you know, um, everybody's getting bought up. Everybody's getting bought up. Consolidation, baby. This is, uh, it's the dance that gets danced. All right, be well. See you soon. Bye.